I recently saw a good deal on a honking old Wilton bench vice, and I jumped on it. This meant driving over to the dry side of the state, but any excuse to get safely out of the house right now is a welcome one. After passing by hops fields and apple storage facilities and some of the most polluted land on earth, it was time to head back via a minor mountain pass and the second longest floating bridge in the world. Then it was time to clean up the vice. Normally I love the look of worn old paint, but I couldn't resist the opportunity to make use of some new shop friends. So I've been disassembling the vise and I've come across the first real snag. Now it's missing one of the pipe jaws and I knew that when I bought it um, and it was still a good enough deal and I figured it would be kind of fun project to try and replace it since uh, I have one as a comparison. But while <laughs> the set screw for the missing jaw was there and came out fine, this one has been sheared off at some point in its past and this thing has definitely seen some heavy use. The uh, Here's the... <laughs> The set screw for the missing pipe jars, as you can see, it's not exactly straight. So that got sheared off at some point. So I'm now thinking, how am I going to address this? I could try and weld a stud onto there, but I'm really worried about messing up the surrounding thread. So I'm inclined to try and drill in and use a screw extractor, which I do have. Um, the way these work, if you haven't seen them, is that's a left-handed helix, not a right-handed. So you can, you drill a hole into whatever you want removed, then you thread this in, which you thread it in backwards from the way you would normally thread something in. And then these kind of bite in on that hole, and then you can just keep turning and turning, and hopefully the thing then, because as you're screwing this in, you're screwing that out. They're complementary that way. So. That is my thinking at the moment, and I'm just going to sit here and ponder it for a bit longer, because the problem is if I weld it, there's a good chance it gets messed up enough that I can't screw, drill into it easily, and once I drill into it, it's going to be hard to weld to it, so i got to choose one or the other, I think. Check it out, it worked. To be really honest, I've never had a lot of luck with screw extractors. So I was very nervous about this. But I've never had a lot of luck with welding onto little nubs like that either. So I thought this was the best solution. And I don't know, looks like maybe I was right. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> 